about in the 1998 Act. Thank you very much. Uh, there will now be an opportunity for speeches, and I will begin by calling the First Minister and then the Deputy First Minister to address the Assembly. I now call the First Minister, Arlene Foster. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. And may I first of all congratulate you as you are elected to serve as Speaker of this House. Uh, it is a role with uh, much responsibility to ensure that members on all benches are heard. And I look forward to working with you and indeed the broader Speaker team which has just been elected. Uh, Mr Speaker, to serve as the First Minister of Northern Ireland is deeply humbling and brings with it enormous responsibility to the people that we represent. This is the fourth anniversary of when I first took up this role. A lot of water has passed onto the bridge since then, but today uh, the real work starts. This last three years have focused too much on division and recrimination, and there's plenty of blame to go around, but the time has come to move forward with resolution. The lessons have been learned, and it's time to get Northern Ireland moving forward again. However, the restoration of this Assembly and Executive alone will not solve our waiting lists or reduce the staff pressures in our hospitals. Indeed, simply filling posts will not resolve the mental health challenges our society is facing at the moment. There needs to be action and decisions need to be made. The Bengoa report needs to be implemented. It already has cross-party agreement. It has a 10-year plan, but that was in 2016 and we have lost three years. And to deliver this transformation, it will not be easy. It will require courageous decisions by members on all sides of this House. Mr Speaker, I pledge to work in a collegiate manner with all the parties across this chamber to ensure that our public services are improved, that every citizen feels valued, and that we lay a solid foundation for the next generation. In 2021, Northern Ireland will celebrate its centenary, and we want to do so with safer streets, better schools, and a first-class health service free at the point of need. The National Health Service is unique to the United Kingdom, and we must work together to protect it and strengthen it. Within this chamber, Mr Speaker, there are people who are British, Irish, Northern Irish, and European. There are many identities and uh, those of us who are here today should have each of our identities respected. That is why we reached the fair and balanced deal which caters for British and Irish as well as new and emerging identities. We want everyone to feel at home in Northern Ireland. In particular, I draw attention to the commitments to fully implement the Armed Forces Covenant and establish a Veterans Commissioner these are very significant for young men and women from these shores who have or continue to defend democracy all over the world. Mr Speaker, you along with other members in this chamber are an Irish Republican and I am a unionist with a strong British identity. But regardless of our differences, we must seek out common ground. When I visited Our Lady's Grammar School in Newry, the pupils gave me a lovely picture as a gift. It has hung in my office upstairs ever since, just above my shoulder, and in Irish it states, together we are strong. We have many differences, and Michelle's narrative of the past 40 years could not be any more different to mine. And I'm not sure we will ever agree on much about the past, but we can agree that there was too much suffering and that we cannot allow society to drift back and allow division to grow. Northern Ireland is succeeding in many ways. It's time for Stormont to move forward and show that together we are stronger for the benefit of everyone. Fixing problems in schools and reforming our health service so people receive timely treatment should be a priority for all of the parties. So, Mr Speaker, let us get down to work and, most importantly, let us get Northern Ireland moving again. Thank you. And can I also say Kamhardjus on your new um, position and I look forward to your leadership in this assembly. This is a defining moment for our politics here. Um, from today, 